Okay, so I want to show you a little bit about this Nespresso that I have. It's wonderful. Of course, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to take you along. I think it's pretty cool. I generally don't like single-use items like Nespresso's or cure eggs or that sort of thing because you use the little coffee pods and then you throw them away and it's more trash and I am not great about reducing my trash um, consumption but I want to do, do better and so those are one of those things that I can't stand um, throwing away all the time so when I use a cure egg I try to use the reusable um, cup that it that you can get for it and fill that up with coffee instead. And then with this Nespresso, you can actually order a kit that I'll show you in just a moment that you can refill the little pods with and that way all you're reusing every time is obviously new coffee and then you just put a foil sticker on the top of it and that's the, um, that's the waste essentially that you use every time instead of a full pod. So I think that's pretty cool. And it, it makes frothy coffee and it's so delicious. I love it. So let me show you. Right, here we go. The Nespresso. It's pretty sleek little guy here. It's got a pull out. That's where your pods will go. It sticks on back there. An adjustable little stand for your coffee. A little water jug we need to fill up. And I think this is a pretty cool little system I got going on, if I do say so myself. Put the used ones in there, then we fill them up. And that's, like I said, a new sticker goes on and you use the kit and you press it down and it's ready to go. Pretty awesome. Okay, like everything I do around here, I like to do it in batches. So sometimes you can just peel it off if it's the sticker. It'll just come right off. You dump out the old coffee and then you wash all of these. And then if it is one from the factory still, it still has that foil built into it. You just take a knife, carefully run it around the edge, cut off that foil. And dump it out. So here I am sitting down previously to fill up these coffee pods. They're rather easy. I decided to go ahead and use the different colors to my advantage and that way we can keep track of what they are a little easier. So this first batch I'm going to do is macadamia nut coffee, one of my favorites. And we also did hazelnut coffee and then just regular flavor coffee and then decaf coffee as well. And so the system is pretty easy. It has a little cup that it comes with. You put the pod in there and you use the measuring cup to kind of push down the coffee a bit. And then it comes with a brush and you Brush the coffee off of the edges, that way the sticker will stick to the foil and you won't have any gaps in the foil. And then it comes with four stickers on each sheet. So you just line it up, making sure that there's not too much of a gap on either side. If you can look at the stack of pods, you can see they have those black and white lines on them. That's basically the barcode and it tells the machine what it is or how big it is. 
so it knows how much water to pull for your cup of coffee. And then you use the top of that gadget to push down the sticker and you rotate it and it makes it a nice seal all the way around. And you're done. And then move on to the next one. There you have it. All the flavors are filled up now. You can see these are the foils and the kit that we got to fill them up. Now to clean up the spot where they go. I like to take the time to clean up when I can. That way you're doing small amounts of cleaning instead of mega lots of cleaning. I'm just showing you how they come out. They go in there. It's perfect. Give one of these pods a try. Um, I definitely want flavored. Let's do hazelnut. Put in the next one. This is our milk frother. I don't do this all the time, but it's pretty nice. It creates both hot and cold froth. Mmm, <laughs> mm. mm. yum, so good. So as you can see, it's not too difficult to have something a little indulgent, but still be mindful of your garbage, but still be mindful of what you're consuming and throwing away. 
I won't get into that too much. Um, that's just something that's personally important to me. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about something I um, love using and I'm so happy that it is finally getting colder here in California and I can actually have some nice warm cups of coffee during the day and make it just a little bit special. Uh, thank you guys for coming along and I will talk to you later. Bye.